didn't feel that they had a leg to stand on while the people, the arbitrator, thought otherwise. And the arbitrator is a decent man who I believe was wrong in this case, but that happens. So the decision went against us. And so now you reorganize everything and you make plans to go ahead with this fight. Those are the words of Bob Arum as he explains the arbitrator and the decision of the arbitrator, the quote unquote, very good man. He feels made a bad decision, but he made the decision nonetheless, and they're going along with the fight. Here's my counterpunch to Bob. If they felt that he made a big mistake, did you see any time when Bob Arum challenged that, went against that, wouldn't accept that? I mean, that's what, what do you think an appeal is for? Arbitration is something you go through with court. So how is it based on the evidence that they had that the contract expired? How was it that they were able to, or he was able to make the decision without him having a say-so in the matter? Because I'm pretty sure either he was there at some point and knew what the evidence was based on what he read. And that was the evidence, the contract. Okay. So if the contract expired, if it had an expiration date on it or whatever, that should have been all she wrote. What made me curious was, and I told, I told several friends and whoever would listen, like, why is it taking so long for mediation, then an arbitration? If they seen what it, what it said and looked over the evidence and the contract, cause that's what it is. Depends on how long the contract was. That's all she wrote, and that shouldn't have been no more than a week, if that. But it, it drug out for a very long time, and just suspiciously, it it like it it the hammer came down a day after Tyson Fury says he's going to fight. That's my only problem with it, and along with Bob Arum, now he's saying, "Well, I don't believe in the arbitrator, the quote unquote very good man," and it's like, okay, well, why did you try to challenge it? Because we've heard what Eddie Hearn said about the whole ordeal. Eddie Hearn said, well, hey, I called Bob what's going on. Well, we lost and that's it. We're going to go on and have the fight. Nothing I can do about it. There was no, we're going to appeal. We have this other fight for undisputed. Maybe a step aside deal. None of that shit was said. But of course, a couple weeks before that, Bob Arum was already looking at venues for the Wilder, or should I say the Fury Wilder 3 fight. So obviously he either had the heads up, he already knew how he was going to rule, or he ruled it, or he, uh, since it's his good friend, he allowed it to go a certain way, or uh, knew it was going a certain way before it actually ever came out. And this is my honest opinion on it. This is what I feel that happened. Based off of how successful Eddie Hearn was at getting the the undisputed fight done, that was going to be when the when the news hit the stands. Okay, think about it. Why did why was it when Tyson Fury when all that doubt and all that shit? Oh, we're still in arbitration. We're still in arbitration. Oh, it doesn't look like Eddie knows what he's doing. They're still in arbitration. They're still in arbitration. Oh, we're going to China. Are we going to the Saudi Arabia? Are we going to America? They're still in arbitration. They're still in arbitration. As soon as Tyson Fury comes forth with, hey, I, I talked to Prince Khalid and he said he has the money in the bag and the, and the fight is a go, boom. Then all of a sudden the arbitration ruling appeared out of nowhere. The hammer came down, right? And it just makes me really suspicious on why then? Why did it come when Tyson Fury announced another fight? See, I think all this was intertwined. I think the when the uh, finally when the undisputed deal was closer to being made, that's when they were going to give that bullshit decision just to shut any way of that arbitration down. I mean, sorry, of that undisputed fight down. Okay, because it's just too convenient 
to list to, to sit here and look go through all this shit with Eddie Hearn flying all over here, over there, or sending people out, probably which more than likely he did, spending money on getting that done with lawyers and seeing what they can do, where they can have the fight, where's the money, how much money will each guy get and all that shit to make sure that was secured, to make sure that was in, in, in the bag, in escrow and all that. And then only to turn around and say, boom, well, we lost the arbitration. I think they knew once he gets that deal done, boom, we're going to we're going to announce that Deontay Wilder has won the arbitration. That's what I feel based on what he's saying. Now he's going back and saying, well, I didn't agree with it in the first place. Well, if you didn't agree with it, why are we sitting here? Hmm. Why did we have a Joshua Usyk, which a lot of people said that wasn't going to happen? Right. You know, the alphabet channels, the, you know, a, a portion of them said that that wasn't going to happen. It's not going to happen because of this, that and the other. And Joshua's going to pull out and he's going to relinquish the, all that shit. Right. And it didn't happen. Right. That didn't happen. The fight happened, though, didn't it? So it shows you who is doing what to whom. But then again, to be fair, it's a lot of people that thought that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, the trilogy fight won't happen. Well, shit, if unless it's it gets canceled this week, it's happening. <laughs> right so i don't see what this deal is about bob arum i think bob arum was in cahoots with that uh good quote unquote good man daniel weinstein you know bob arum weinstein goldstein you know all that so i think they all knew what was going to happen and they wanted to have that as an escape goat for uh, Deontay Wilder because they wanted to fight Deontay Wilder before ever fighting Joshua because that had to be the exact that had to be the last fight. See, it's better to lose to Wilder than fight Joshua than to fight Joshua and possibly lose to Joshua. Now, though, everyone will say, "Oh no, he would have got beat by Fury anyway." Looking at Usyk, well, Usyk is Usyk and Joshua is Joshua. Okay, I'm sorry, and Fury is Fury. So I don't know why people believe in triangle theories of someone and or another fighter. And then you always want to take that performance and replace that guy with that. I mean, people do that shit all the time. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. And triangle theories would only work in this situation. If Tyson Fury would have beat Usyk, then Usyk turned around and beat Joshua. Nobody has fought Usyk to know what people would do with Usyk. But with Bob Arum, it's just really, it's really peculiar on how he answered these questions and had the had the nerve to say, oh, I disagreed with it without challenging it. That's my problem. That's my counterpunch. You guys tell me what you think about Bob Arum saying that he disagreed with the arbitration. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.